What's up everybody out there in Heroclix land? This once again is Scott Porter back for another quick and dirty unboxing series for the newest WizKids Heroclix set. This time we are looking at dun, 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 Secret Wars Battle World. Uh, this series <laughs> was one of the coolest mega events that I've ever read. Uh, Jonathan Hickman wrote it. He engineered it for years. And this was kind of the culmination of everything he did. Uh, it is a fantastic read. If you haven't read this, go and read it. I am super excited about this set because what happens in Secret Wars is this brand new world is forged called Battle World by Doctor Doom, or God Doom, uh, as he became known during that time. And you have all of these crazy lands led by different barons. You have Mr. Sinister, you have Apocalypse, you have Madeline Pryor, you have Ultron, you have uh, the Annihilation Wave, you have all of the Marvel Zombies, you have Spider Island. I mean, the possibilities really are endless for who could be in this set and that makes me very very excited uh, let's take a look at the case here to start out and see who we have I mean you have your typical Avengers on the front we got the three big guys you got Thor and Captain America and Iron Man I'm actually hoping they don't make too big of a uh, an appearance in this particular set because they weren't really crazy involved I mean Thor was in a way as a part of the Thor Corps, basically the cops of Battle World. It was a bunch of Thors all together, um, which I guess you can see right there. You see the Thors on the bottom. On the top there, you have Spider Island, which I mentioned that was a part of Battle World. Uh, looks like we've got uh, the Spider Queen. Looks like we've got Iron Man. Looks like we've got Iron Fist. Uh, ooh, I forgot. On this side, uh, there was a part of Battle World called the Valley. And that's where the uh, 1872 Avengers were. And that's why I hope your, your mainstream Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor aren't really in the set. Because we have cool stuff like this. Sheriff Rogers. You've got Tony Stark in 1872. He was kind of a drunkard and then built like a steam engine Iron Man suit, which was very cool. You have the Widow there, Black Widow, of course. And on the bottom, you have one of the craziest reads I've ever read in Marvel in Weird World. Uh, it was all a story about Archon trying to find his home and kind of a Lord of the Rings style adventure set in the Marvel uh, world. Uh, it, is, it is really, really cool. You can see down there, uh, you've got Morgan Le Fay, the Witch Queen. She is very much the main antagonist of the Weird, weird, weird World story, if I could talk. That's Kristar there. Um, Man Thing was involved. You have all these magma people running around. It was a very cool story. So like I said, some weird, wacky, mind-blowing stories that came out of the Secret Wars main storyline and all of the Battle World uh, offshoots. I think there was like 31 different books. You had The Runaways. You had uh, Captain Britain and the Defenders. You had so many cool books. So I hope we see some really, really inventive and imagine imaginative figures in this set. I am crazy stoked. Now, if you've never watched one of these unboxing series before, I'm gonna open these, I'm shooting these on my phone. We're gonna go through the cards really quickly. We're gonna look at all the figures and then we're gonna do two boosters a day, each day for a full week, for a total of five days. I think you're gonna be seeing these videos starting September the 24th. The pre-release for this set happens October 3rd. So make sure you go to your local brick and mortar stores and uh, start playing with these figures starting October 3rd. And then the actual set comes out October 17th. That's when you can get the set in your hands. So hopefully you guys are getting an early enough preview of the set. Wow, there was a lot to unpack there. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the back of the box. On the back of the box, you have up top Sheriff Strange, and I think that's Black Panther with the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, in this storyline, Sheriff Strange is kind of God Doom's right-hand man. Uh, three people really built the world. Molecule Man, Sheriff Strange, and God Doom right in the middle. So I'd expect to see all three of those guys in the set. Towards the end of the book, one of the great heroes is Black Panther wearing an Affinity Gauntlet and leading the Marvel Zombies to defeat God Doom. Yes, it is insanity. Uh, but I'm so glad that we're going to get a Black Panther like that. Hopefully we get to see him today. On the bottom, we have the Avengers Legacy uh, figures, it looks like to me. It looks like that's uh, Agamotto uh, proper and the original Iron Fist. If we're getting uh, the Legacy guys in here... Please give me Ghost Rider on a Wooly Mammoth. Please. Please. 
Um, but the last thing I'm super excited about in this set, and something I hope will happen, is that we will get some Fantastic Four figures. Because at the heart of this entire story is really Reed Richards versus God Doom for his family, for Reed Richards' family. And we all know that the Fantastic Four is the first family, and I hope Franklin is very important, Valeria is very important, Sue Storm is very important. Uh, the Thing is a giant wall. I'm talking some like Game of Thrones stuff, guys. He is a giant wall called the Shield that keeps all of the inhabitants of Battle World away from the zombies, the Annihilation Wave, and the Perfection, which is all of the Ultrons. Uh, Johnny Storm is the sun that resides over Battle World. I'm telling you guys, this thing is bonkers. If you haven't read it, go read it. So what I hope is that for the first time in a long time, we see some Fantastic Four figures in this set. I hope that the fan base out there thinks so too. So without further ado, let's just get cracking. Um, if you're a fan of the unboxing things that I have done in the past, you know that I like to start every time on the back right side of the brick with a couple of boosters. Uh, if you're looking at the back, the back right side. If you're looking at the front of it, the left side. I almost always get a super rare. Uh, it's, whoa, there's no tape. There's no tape on the boosters this time. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's get started. I know that I've rambled on, but I wanted to give you a set overview. I'd love to look at the outside of the box on the first day. I promise you the rest of the week we'll just be getting right into it. Uh, let's see, first and foremost we have, ooh, wait a minute here. Oh, this is awesome. And we do have a super rare in our first pack. We keep it going, guys. Uh, we have a Man-Thing soldier, that's from Weird World. We have a World Breaker. In uh, Weird World, there's a place called Greenland, and guess what, it's full of hulks. I think it was run by uh, Red Hulk at first, and then Maestro took over. This little girl here, uh, I think it's Clara Prast from Runaways, which is very cool. I didn't expect her to be in it. Uh, that is Bor Thor. Uh, he was an informant for God Doom in the Thor Corps. That's awesome. And then we have Iron Fist from Spider Island, who has a super rare tag on him. So, woo, that's a good first booster. Uh, I think I'm most excited about Clara Prast, though. She's like an out of time kind of, she can control plants. Um, runaway character. She came on later in the Runaways run. Um, and we have a couple of really cool generics here, so I'm very excited to see uh, what they can all do. So, who do we want to start with today? Wow, these guys are hard to click. Um, let's start with just the uh, Man Thing Soldier, and then we'll do World Breaker. We'll do Boar Thor, Clara Prast, and then last but not least, Iron Fist. Uh, I will read some of the powers off of the cards if you've never seen these before, but then I will hold them up so you guys can pause the video and read it for yourself and try and make sense of it because I know a lot of times I talk fast and it's hard to keep up. Uh, so let's start with the Man-Thing Soldier. Ah, here we go. I'm very excited about this. Uh, we should have Jennifer Kale in the set. She was the kind of the queen of the Man-Things. The Man-Thing Soldier is set number 12 has Battle World Weird World uh, keywords. So Battle World Weird World. So I bet there's a bunch of different Battle World keywords we're gonna get. Uh, we have Monster, Mystical, and Soldier. Real name is Various. Uh, the point cost is 33. Ooh, some odd numbers. Usually we get zeros and fives. This is cool. Has a trait, Untamed Weirdness. Opposing characters' combat values except range can't be modified when attacking Man-Thing Soldier or being attacked by Man-Thing Soldier. Untamed Weirdness. I wonder if that's a shared trait with all the Weird World people. Whatever knows fear is a special damage power. Exploit Weakness. And when Man-Thing Soldier uses it, modify damage by plus one if the target has one or more action tokens. Boom. There you go. Okay, one down. Many, many more to go, that's cool. Let's look at this World Breaker next. And I bet you we are gonna get Maestro in this set as well. Maestro was pretty big part of this set. Uh, and this guy's massive. It's funny to look at him. We'll look at Clara in, in contrast right there. Very cool. Okay, let's see. The World Breaker has Battle World Other. Keyword, Brute and Warrior, set number 13, worth either 100 or 50 points. 
has a special attack power, World Breaker Quake, and Super Strength. When World Breaker uses Quake after resolutions, generate a standard light object. Makes sense. He's indomitable, and he has You Can't Hurt Us. Stop. Invincible has a couple of stop clicks. Looks like, ooh, two stop clicks on the World Breaker Hulk generic. Wow. Has some improved movement there. Ignores hindering. Outdoor blocking terrain. That is very, very cool. Future Imperfect. Uh, yes, that's right. Maestro shows up in later in the in the mainstream book, but the Future Imperfect storyline is pretty darn cool too because I think after uh, all of Secret Wars ends, Maestro really makes a play to become the, the ruler of, of uh, Battle World. So, all right, let's see here. Um, Clara Prast, let's go with her next. She has 40 points. Set number... 16. She has the runaways and pass keywords. She has a trait on the run, stealth, sidestep, but only if an opposing character is within four squares. I bet you that's a shared trait with the runaways. She has another trait, chlorokinesis, free. Generate a hindering or blocking terrain marker within six squares and line of fire. If Clara Prast is part of a runaways theme team, generate both. Remove them when Clara passed. Pay Clara Prast <laughs> takes damage or this ability is activated again. Very cool. Interesting. I did not expect to get her. So a uh, character that kind of came out of left field, that's really, really cool. Bor Thor. Um, Bor Thor is set number 24. He's worth 80 points. All of these Thors are going to have the PD team ability, which I think is awesome because they were basically the police agency for God Doom. Let's see. Borthor has Asgardian, Battle World Asgard, Animal, Police, and Warrior keywords. Has a trait called Crack the Case. Once per turn, when an opposing character within four squares and line of fire makes an attack, give Borthor an evidence token. Free, remove two evidence tokens to make an attack. All right, very cool. We've seen a very similar shared trait with some other PD type of figures in hero clicks uh, but that's awesome their their single book uh, Thor's I think it was just called Thor's uh, was was very cool it was them uh, on the case of a murder of, uh, of a girl within the battle world realm and uh, I'm gonna leave it at that it's a really cool read though and uh, within the main book though Jane Foster Thor gets pulled in from the main Marvel Universe and she ends up leading a rebellion against God Doom with all of the Thors. So Jane Foster Thor should also be in this set. Man, there are so many great characters that should be in this set. Oh, I'm so hopeful. I am so hopeful. And it's Iron Fist from Spider Island. Has the uh, wild card Spidey team ability is 75 points. Set number 50. Has Battle World Spider Island. Animal, martial artist, monster, and mystical keywords. Has a trait, Homo Arachnus, Plasticity and Poison, traded. Has a special movement power, Spider Traps, Two Flies, Charge and Flurry. When Iron Fist hits with a close attack, after the attack resolves, he Im may immediately use Sidestep at no cost. So he can Sidestep in the middle of his Flurry. That's awesome. Spider's Dance, Death's Song, is a special defense power, Combat Reflexes and Super Senses. A special damage power called Spider Hunts Tiger. Close combat expert, when Iron Fist uses it and hits, after resolutions, modify a hit character's combat values by negative one until your next turn. Wow, wow, some improved movement as well because uh, he is a spider after all. Dang, that character is a bunch of death wrapped up all in a little package. Six clicks long, yeah, this is, this is shaping up to be a really, really cool set. And man, I do not have to use the box cutters this time. There's no tape on these boosters. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna uh, end up like that when they finally release, but uh, we'll see. It's actually quite nice. Uh, ooh, all right. Looks like we got Archon here. And oh, crap. I think we got a Weird World booster, period. You can see there, uh, we got Kristar in the middle. We've got a Man-Thing Commander as well as a Man-Thing Soldier. We've got a Crystal Warrior, and then we've got Archon at the end. So I think Archon's like, Archon, what was the Skull guy's name? 
uh, there was somebody who tried to, like a bounty hunter who tried to kill Archon and became uh, his partner. There was also a guy early on, I think his name was Warbo. So there's a lot of named characters, not just in generics that we can have from Weird World. I don't know how they're going to fit as many characters as I want to see in this set into this set. I think we're going to need another set <laughs> of Battle World because we're just not going to be able to get it done. So we've already looked at the Man-Thing Soldier. I'm going to set him to the side. I think since we looked at the Man-Thing Soldier, we'll look at the Man-Thing General next, then the Crystal Warrior, and then Crystar, and then Archon. So let's see. Man-Thing Soldier we've seen. Man-Thing Commander. Set number 27 is worth 66 points. I like that we're not just getting fives and zeros as a point cost. You can get imaginative here uh, with your team builds now. He's a little darker in color than the soldier. Has a trait, Untamed Weirdness. There it is again. Opposing characters' combat values except range cannot be modified when attacking Man-Thing Commander or being attacked by Man-Thing Commander. Now that's huge because uh, I think Energy Shield Deflection is a modification. Combat Reflexes is, is a modification. So you're ignoring all of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, special attack power, the fear begins. Poison. When an adjacent opposing character misses all targets of an attack after resolutions, deal it one penetrating damage. That's nasty. Special damage power, whatever knows fear. Exploit weakness. When Man-Thing Commander uses it, modify damage by plus one if the target has one or more action tokens. So shares that damage power with the Man-Thing Soldier. And uh, pretty beefy on the back end there. Pretty nice dials to start. Uh, on day one here. All right, let's look at the Crystal Warrior and then we'll look at Chris Tar. Crystal Warrior is set number 10, worth 55 points. That's a 55 point generic. Oh, so cool, that green translucence. I say it every set, the sculpts get better and better. Looks so cool. You've got Battle World, Weird World, Chris Crystalium, <laughs> and Warrior keywords. Uh, has the Untamed Weirdness trait. As a special defense power, Crystal Shell, when an opposing character hits Crystal Warrior, reduce damage taken by three if the attack roll succeeded by exactly one, <laughs> by two if the attack roll succeeded by exactly two, and by one if the attack roll succeeded by exactly three. Protected, outwit. So you cannot outwit that defense power. And the damage reduction depends on how well you uh, rolled your attack roll. If you only hit by one, if you roll an eight when you needed a seven, it's gonna ignore three damage. That's pretty nasty. All right, Kristar himself. Very cool looking. He looks cool on the side of the box. He looks even cooler in person, I gotta say. Uh, Kristar, Battle World, Weird World, Crystallium, Warrior Keyword, set number 25. He is worth 75 points, has the Untamed Weirdness trait, has a special attack power, Crystal Broadsword, Blades, Claws, Fangs. Once per turn, you may either re-roll Crystar's attack roll or re-roll Crystar's roll for Blades, Claws, Fangs. Very cool. As Indomitable and a special defense power called Crystal Shell, when an opposing character hits Crystar, reduce damage taken by three. It's the exact same power as the Crystal Soldier. So, there you go. That is pretty awesome. Moltar, you shall not take this land. Great. So we're going to get the Molten Men uh, confirmed. That's awesome. Moltar and Kristar were always butting heads, and Moltar was on the side of Witch Queen Morgan Le Fay. So we're definitely going to seed those two guys. If they still had Arch Nemesis in the game, I think they would have matching color bases. That's for the OG Heroclix players out there. Uh, Archon, last but not least... 60 points, set number 43. Okay. Has the Untamed Weirdness trait. Has Battle World Weird... weird uh, has Battle World Weird World. Say that three times fast. Not easy. Has Ruler and Warrior keywords. The Untamed Weirdness trait, just like everybody else from Real World... Weird World. <laughs> has a trait called Archon the Utterly Lost. At the beginning of your turn, an opponent places Archon into an adjacent square. Oh, come on. That's hilarious. In the story, he has a map, but his home is not on the map, and he looks everywhere. Um, that's the whole idea of this quest. He's trying to find his homeland. That's hilarious. Your opponent gets to uh, basically move him one space into whichever way they want to every, every single turn. Every single turn. 
He also has Battle Bots, a special attack power, penetrating Psychic Blast. And when Archon uses it to target a single character and hits after resolutions, each opposing character adjacent to the target is dealt one penetrating damage. Penetrating energy explosion, basically. Uh, that's awesome. Very cool. And he has a, a five range, so you'll be able to get some stuff out of that. Uh, and his homeland is called Polymachus. And he just, he could never find it. So that's a really, really interesting and slightly trolly special power for Heroclix to give him. Well, that is it. That wraps up day one of the Heroclix Secret Wars Battle World set. <laughs> it comes out October the 17th. Pre-releases start October the 3rd. So stop by your local brick and mortar stores. Make sure that you sign up for the pre-releases. Make sure you order your case ahead of time. This is a dope set. I can tell you that already. I am super, super, super excited. I am coming to you from Hyper RPG Studios in North Hollywood, California. Make sure you find them at Hyper RPG on Twitch or on YouTube. Watch their content. They have a lot of cool tabletop stuff. They have some archived episodes of a Heroclix show actually called Indomitable. That is worth a watch. Really, really a lot of fun stuff. So thank you for Hyper RPG. Thank you to WizKids. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. And until I do, may all your roles be critical hits.